In this video I'll show you how to connect your iPhone or iPad to your HP LaserJet M234SDW. I'll show you how to pair them, how to print and also how to use the scanner uh, using what the Wi-Fi so you get the results on your iPhone. So let's get started. First of all make sure your printer is turned on. So over here this light should be uh, lit this tells you that it's turned on and if the screen is off press the i button once to wake it up then you need to see the wi-fi logo over here flashing and it should flash on the screen as well if they're not flashing it means that the printer is not currently in pairing mode so to put it in that mode you need to keep press this i button during three seconds one two three then release it and we're going to press the Wi-Fi button at the same time as this X button, like that. And now you just have to wait about a minute. The printer will shut down, will power back on, and it will be in pairing mode after that. So let's come back in just a few seconds. All right, we're back. And as you see here, it's now flashing. Great. Now go on your iPhone. You need to download the HP Smart app. Whoops, right here. HP Smart. This is the app that will let you connect uh, your printer to your Wi-Fi network and then connect your iPhone to the printer. So once you have downloaded this app, press open. You'll need to sign in into your HP account if it's not already done. Uh, this is free, don't worry. It takes about an, a minute to create an account. And if you don't have an account, you won't be able to use the feature where you print over uh, your Wi-Fi network and you will also not be able to scan so this is pretty important just create an account with uh, your fake name whatever that's not important once you enter the app you should have a add printer button right on the top if you do not see it okay it should look like this set up a new printer you can click on the top right corner this icon it's uh, the same thing then over here you're gonna select new printer select your HP printer from this list, then input the Wi-Fi password of your Wi-Fi network. Next, you have to wait. Then they will ask you to press the I button. Just press it once and the setup on your iPhone will continue. Finally, press continue. Over here, press accept all. Then you, uh, you have the choice over here to select auto update if you want your printer to update automatically or if you want to do it manually, select notify. I'll select the first one. I think this is the best option. And then over here, they'll ask you to print a test page. It's up to you if you want to do this. I'll skip this step then press skip sending link once you see this page yes and we'll have a few different options you can print and scan using this main page simply by going down if you want to print a document press print select any files on your iphone and on the bottom here you're going to press print preview then press on this small arrow in the middle of the screen and make sure that these settings are appropriate for what you're trying to print. So select your paper size, how many prints you want, the print quality, leave it to normal unless you're printing some graphics, then you can press on it and select best. Go back and then you can also choose if you want to print on both sides of the paper or not. And finally, press print. Wait a few seconds. You can also extend this small flap here. And we got our print out. Now let me show you how to use the scanners. This printer has two scanners. So the first one over here is the automatic document feeder. You can open this flap. You may have these two guides push them on the side. Then if you have multiple pages, make sure to align them and place them facing up. Okay, simply have to glide them in. 
like this. Next step is to go on your iPhone. On this main page, you're going to uh, select printer scan. If you click here on the top, under input source, click on this and select document feeder. Then go back. If you're trying to print, uh, if you're trying to scan um, pictures or documents with a lot of details, select 300 dpi. If it's just a normal document, select 200 dpi. It's perfect if you just have some text. Go back, press done, and then you're going to press the scan button right there. Don't touch anything. The printer will take page by page your document. And if we look on the iPhone over here, in just a few seconds it should be ready. We're going to have all the pages. If you want to add more pages to this document, go ahead, place them on the top the same way you did and press the add button on the top left corner and you can add many, many more pages. Over here you have reorder. If the order of your pages is not what you want, you have rotate if you want to rotate the pages and on the bottom you'll be able if you select print preview to print what you just scanned and then you have share save. If you click here, You'll be able to rename this. So if you click on the name, oops, you can give it a brand new name. Under file settings, you can select which kind of file you want out of this scan. If it's a picture, choose JPEG. If it's, it, if it's text files, and if you have multiple pages and you want to combine them in one PDF, select basic PDF. Click on continue. You'll be able to share it on social media, share it on email, and if you go down this menu, you can also select save to file, which means save it on your iPhone. If you only have one page to scan, you can use the regular scanner over here. Okay, so this stays in this position. Take your document, put it facing down with the top part of the document on the left side. And then you're going to align this corner with the corner that is on the top left corner. So just bring it like that, then close this lid. On the app, the only difference this time, you're going to still select printer scan. But when you go up here, under input source, select scanner glass. And then modify the settings if you need. Press the scan button. You're going to get the result and do the same exact thing that uh, I showed you previously. So thanks for watching. I hope this was useful. If so, please leave a like, subscribe. If you want to get toner for this printer, paper for this printer, or even a brand new printer, check my Amazon affiliate links. This is a great way to support my channel. It does not cost you anything more, but I get a very, very small percentage of the sale since uh, these are my affiliate links. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.